I am Joey Huang from the Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine and Frederick Health Hospital. Today we're going to talk about the uh, stent wire trap technique, uh, which is an easy technique uh, to get more backup uh, to pass equipment through long, uh, tough lesions. The patient is a 75-year-old man uh, with previous cabbage uh, who has been having angina uh, despite medical therapy. His PET scan showed severe infralateral ischemia, and the cath uh, that you can see here shows why. Um, he had severe left main and circumflex disease. The OM was grafted, and the graft is patent, uh, but unfortunately the OM has a, a severe osteo lesion, uh, so the graft was not providing a sufficient flow uh, to the rest of the cirque. So we engage with a 6 French ABU 3.5, uh, the workhorse wire crossed very smoothly, and then I had my first hint of trouble. Um, I could not get my pre-dilation balloon uh, to cross to the distal cirque. The guide liner was of uh, no help. Uh, it was stuck at the distal left main stenosis and could not make the turn uh, into the circumplex. So I passed the second wire into the circumplex, uh, the, uh, a buddy wire, and with the buddy wire in place, I was able to get a, a 25 by 25 millimeter compliant balloon to cross. That balloon actually inflated fairly well, uh, as you can see here. So I dilated the whole circ and left main, and here is what we now have. Yeah, it still uh, needs a bit more work. Again, uh, with the buddy wire in place, I passed an NC balloon now uh, for more uh, lesion preparation. And again, the NC balloon uh, seemed uh, to dilate uh, fully. And here's what we have after dilating with the NC balloon. Uh, the circumflex now uh, seems to be dissected proximally and in its uh, midsection. The left main uh, also either dissected distally or uh, recoiled. Uh, not a big deal, and expected after a balloon dilation, um, let's just uh, stent the whole thing. Uh, it will be beautiful. But I could not get the stent uh, to cross into the circumflex. Uh, this is where uh, it keeps getting stuck. A uh, guide liner did not help and did not get the stent any further. Uh, what to do? Well, um, here is my standard approach uh, for dealing uh, with a situation where you can't uh, get your stent to where it, uh, you need it to be. The uh, first step is more lesion preparation. Uh, the easiest thing to do is to uh, balloon some more, uh, either with an NC balloon, as we have done, uh, or uh, if the lesion is uh, calcified, uh, a scoring balloon. You can also do a shockwave uh, IVL. and Atherectomy can also be done unless uh, you've already dissected the lesion uh, like we've uh, done in our case. The second step is, is to use a guide extension like a guide liner. Uh, my threshold for using a guide extension is nearly non-existent, uh, but unfortunately for us in this case, uh, the guide liner uh, did not do too much. The third step is to use a microcatheter uh, to exchange your workhorse wire into something stiffer, uh, such as a BHW, a Grand Slam, or a Wiggle. Uh, this will give you a stiffer rail on uh, which uh, to push uh, your equipment. The uh, fourth step is to use a buddy wire, as we've done here. Uh, sometimes if one buddy wire doesn't help, adding a second buddy wire uh, could uh, do the trick. The fifth step is to inflate a balloon in the side branch. Uh, the uh, inflated balloon uh, prevents the guide uh, from backing out uh, when you're pushing hard uh, to get your uh, equipment to pass. Uh, this inflated balloon is known as an anchoring balloon. I must say I don't use the, uh, the side branch anchoring balloon technique that much uh, because of the possibility that it could end up uh, injuring and dissecting uh, the side branch. The sixth step is to swap out to a more a supportive guide. Uh, there are techniques that I've gone over in other videos on how to exchange guide catheters over coronary wires, but in general, swapping out guides in the middle of a tough PCI is painful, and I typically only do this after uh, I've tried uh, everything else. Uh, but there is another technique, an easy technique, uh, that we can use in this particular case. It's called the uh, stent wire trap technique. Now, if you have already have a buddy wire in place and if your lesion is long, the idea is that you stent the proximal part of the lesion first and intentionally trap the buddy wire in place between the stent and the vessel wall. 
once the body wire is trapped, it basically acts as an anchor uh, that will prevent your guide from backing out when you're pushing your second stent down the vessel. So as you can see here, uh, we deployed our stent from the left main into the proximal circumflex and intentionally trapped our body wire in place. Now, um, there are some limitations. Generally, the stent wire trap technique is best suited for longer lesions or tandem lesions, uh, such as proximal RC and this RCA. You don't want to stent healthy vessel just to use the stent wire trap technique. And to prevent the trap wire to, uh, from becoming permanently stuck, I will generally pull the wire back so that only the floppy part of the wire is trapped. The floppy part is less likely to get completely stuck. And as you can see from the video here, only the floppy wire is trapped behind uh, the stent. Sometimes you may actually have to post dilate the stent a bit to get the body wire sufficiently trapped uh, for the technique to work. All right, so now with the body wire trapped by the proximal stent, you can see that the second stent sailed very easily down uh, to its proper position in the distal circumflex. All right, and here is the uh, final angiographic result, uh, which we thought was quite satisfactory. The patient did very well and uh, went home uh, later that day. All right, take home messages. Um, we went over my approach for dealing with the all too common scenario where uh, your uh, stent uh, can't cross, uh, more lesion preparation, uh, using a guide extension, exchanging to a stiffer wire, using body wires, using an anchoring, uh, an anchoring balloon, and using a more supportive guide. And in suitable situations with longer or tandem lesions, uh, don't forget about the stent wire trap technique, a, a quick and easy technique that was very helpful uh, in this case. Thank you for watching.